we're going to take a look at some of the features available in the premium version of Virtual Classroom. These features have just been made available for all CBE staff. I'm on the home page of a new D2L shell that I just ordered. To get started, I'm going to navigate to Virtual Classroom. For me, that's under Course Tools drop-down menu. Depending on the nav bar that you have active in your course, Virtual Classroom might be in a different location. To set up a new session, I'm going to hit the plus sign on the bottom right to schedule a meeting. I'm going to give this a title, today's date. I'm going to set the meeting active as now. The length of time that a session can last has been increased in this premium version. We now have up to 240 minutes or four hours for each session. We have unlimited sessions available and up to 150 participants can now join each scheduled meeting. Once I'm happy with these options, I'm going to hit Save. And I'm going to join the meeting that I just set up by clicking the three dots on the tray and launching. I'm going to enter the meeting room. A dialog box is going to appear that is asking how I would like to join the session. I plan on using my microphone, so I'm going to click Microphone. You will also have to verify that your microphone is working. There's an audio check that shows up, and I can hear myself, so I'm going to hit Yes. When you first enter a session, your microphone is automatically on, so I suggest that you mute that right away. I usually also open up the chat toggle and the user list toggle so that I can see students as they enter the room. This new premium version of Virtual Classroom allows teachers to enter the room 10 minutes early to set up materials and prepare for student arrival. As students arrive, one thing that I usually do is go into the settings and ensure that I have settings in order. I will do this by clicking on the three dots on the top right hand corner of the classroom settings. Um, when students do enter, they can send private messages to each other and the teacher can't see these messages. So one way to prevent this from happening is going into Settings, going to Participants, and here the teacher has control of all settings that the student has access to. So for the sake of this session, I'm going to block private chat among students and hit Save. You'll notice that you can also block camera use, microphone, and public chat for students if you decide that that is appropriate. I'm going to hit Save. One of the new features that is available in the premium version of Virtual Classroom is breakout rooms. This allows instructors and teachers to place students in rooms outside of this main public area, whether in groups or individually. To do this, I'm going to hit the plus sign, and I'm going to click on Breakout Rooms. You'll notice that the Breakout Room Creation dialog box comes up. Here teachers can decide how many breakout rooms they would like to create. You can create from two to six breakout rooms. You can also decide how long you would like these breakout rooms to last. Once you decide on the number of rooms and the time limit, you can start to place students in the room that you would like them to be in. You can do this by clicking the student name and dragging them into rooms. Once you're satisfied, you will click Create Rooms. Once the room has been created, 
students must accept a request to join each breakout room that you have placed them in. A dialog box will pop up on their screen and they will click join to enter the breakout room. Once a student enters a breakout room, the first student to enter the room is given presenter tools. So if you hover over a student's name, you will see that they are actually the presenter. And I'm going to enter into a breakout room so that we can see what this looks like. For a teacher to see all the breakout rooms, you will click under the title of your virtual classroom session, and you'll see all the breakout rooms that you've created here. I'm going to go to room one and see who is in this room. Again, I have to click join and also do another microphone test to ensure my microphone is working. If I hit the chat toggle and the student toggle, I will see that student one and two are both in this breakout room. Student two arrived first so they have presenter tools. Student one can also give themselves presenter tools, but only one student at a time is allowed to be a main presenter in the room. To give themselves tools, they will just click on their own name. So I'm gonna do this for my name here, and I'll make myself a presenter. When I click that, You'll notice that the tools on the left, the presenter logo came to me, the screen on the top left, and the whiteboard tools actually showed up. So I can now write on the whiteboard. You'll also notice on the top that the breakout room time remaining buzzer is at the top and it's counting down to when the session ends. If students are collaborating on the whiteboard, they're welcome to use the whiteboard tools. One strategy that I often use is opening up a collaborative Google Doc so that when the session ends, students actually have record of what they have collaborated on. They're also welcome to take screenshots of the whiteboard to ensure that they have that takeaway with them, but Google Docs might be a good way for students to collaborate while in virtual classroom. I'm currently still in the first breakout room. You can tell what room you're in from this identifier here. Also on the main tab, so I'm in room one. The main room is still here, and I can join each of the breakout rooms to monitor student progress and ensure that there's some supervision in each breakout room. Another thing I can do as the teacher is click the actions button, and this has to be done in the main room, not in a breakout room. But if I click that, I can close down all breakout rooms, so actually end the session early. I had it set for 15 minutes, and if I think that 10 minutes in, I would like to end it early, I could close all breakout rooms. If a student comes late, I can also invite a student to a breakout room by assigning them in the breakout room assignment dialog box here. Or I could move students around to different rooms if I would like to do that. I just try to make it clear to students when I'm going to end a session to ensure that they have a record of everything that they have documented on the whiteboard or a Google Doc and that they know the session is going to end. And again, to end a session, I'm going to click the plus action sign and close all breakout rooms. 